one day I will be able to do this in the first shot. Why does it matter? All you've got to do is that. Hey guys, welcome back to my workshop. Uh, today I am going to have a little bit of a play with something that I haven't turned before. Now this is a piece of resin. It was cast by Mark from TQ Blanks and he um, gave it to me last year in May, so 2019 in May at Maker Central. Um, so I am really, really sorry that I haven't got around to doing anything with this yet, Mark, but um, life has got in the way. However, I recently emptied a bag out from Maker's Central last year and I rediscovered it. It's about roughly about an inch and a half square by about six inches long. So that makes it the perfect size to make one of my hanging ornaments with and that is what I aim to do today. I have never turned resin before. I've turned acrylics but I've never turned a piece of resin. I know a lot of people use carbide tools for cutting resin but I don't have any. Therefore we are going to go with some traditional wood turning tools for turning this today. This might be a very short video, but let's get this onto the lathe and get started with the project. Wish me luck. Really no idea what to expect with this at all. Just a little side note while I remember, I have actually got a new lighting and sound rig set up today and this is the first time that I'm filming with it. So if you've got any opinions or whatever feedback you've got, just drop it in the comment section below because it's nice to hear what you guys feel about it. Okay, now I'm going to put my face shield on. I have no idea if you can hear me with this, but I'm going to start out with quite a small quarter inch bowl gouge because I don't want a large cutting surface area to be in contact with the resin. So this stuff is so much fun to turn. There's like streamers everywhere, ridiculously long streamers. That's just that's just one cup basically. So it's sticking to absolutely everything. So I'm gonna bring this out of the tail stuff up because I am actually a little bit nervous about this. I'd rather just bring that up for a little bit of support just while I'm roughing this end down. Well, that's fun. Can't see. Right, forget that then. Can you even turn this to a point? Yay! to share a few thoughts um, it is a lot of fun to turn you do get some ridiculous shavings of it um, that are kind of like literally never ending because there's no grain so it doesn't fall apart so it's just a massive long ribbon it's static so it clings to absolutely everything so my lathe is covered I am covered um, from kind of waist down. I can cope with all that. The thing that is doing my head in a little bit is that because it doesn't break up, because it's just one long ribbon, um, as this is here, basically it just wraps around itself. So for 
spindle turning some of this stuff when it's just one solid piece and not broken up like having wood cast in it or anything else cast in with it to break it up it makes it really quite difficult to work with in that sense because I keep having to stop the lathe every two seconds it also means that I can't turn this particularly thin because what I'm concerned about is that it will wrap itself around here and if it builds up too much then obviously it's causing quite a bit of weight on the end and we don't want it to flex and just snap so I'm not going to turn this to the usual shape that I do and I'm not going to turn it as delicately as I tend to turn my finials so I'm going to leave it a little bit more on the chunky side and just try and make something up Oh my goodness, look at that, it bends. Despite saying that I wouldn't turn it too thin, I have turned it down to just less than, well about a quarter of an inch. And um, basically it moves, but let's just soldier on and see what we can do or not do with this. I'm still interested to see what we can get out of it. to cure a little bit more um, after turning it and after polishing it up earlier because I couldn't really polish it properly I couldn't really assert much pressure on there because it was really quite wobbly it's worked it's, having a few hours has allowed it to cure a bit more which means that hopefully I can just get a little bit more of a shine on there get the next shape turned
we now have one base completed, one cap completed. All that's left for me to do is to put the whole bauble together and then I will come back to you and we will talk. Well guys, one finished resin and glass bauble complete with fairy lights. I put this together with one of my large bauble kits which are available on my website. So what are my thoughts? Would I turn resin again? Absolutely. I had a lot of fun turning it. It's really, really good to work with. There's no grain, so you're not having to worry as much about catches and diggings. It behaves a little bit more um, forgivingly than timber. Do you need carbide chisels to turn it? No, definitely not. I turned the whole thing using traditional wood turning tools. I had no problems with them whatsoever. They cut beautifully. They left a really nice clean finish on the surface of the resin. So yeah, you, won't, you do not need carbide tools to do these projects with. Traditional tools all the way. Would I recommend doing a project like this with resin? No, I wouldn't, not to be t totally truthful with you. The reason being that a lot of the streamers that are coming off the resin, I found were wrapping themselves around the spindle as I was turning it. I'll just turn this off a second. Um, so they were wrapping around the spindle as I was turning it. They were wrapping around the chuck. I was having to stop every couple of seconds in some instances to remove all that waste. And there is no way that I could have carried on with it wrapped around. First of all, it's dangerous. You don't want it to get so wrapped around that it's either gonna break it's anything, pull it out of the lathe, cause problems with your chuck or your lathe itself. Um, so you must remove it. And that bit I did find extremely frustrating, I have to admit, because it's stopping and starting constantly. You're losing your flow. So that bit was a, a, a bit annoying. But I would definitely use it in a, in a slightly different application. Um, but yeah, I would not recommend doing something like this. Um, um, if you do decide that you want to go ahead and try it, fine, fair enough, but you must exercise caution because that side of things is quite dangerous. With regards to it going squishy, um, I did get in touch with Mark from TQ Blanks who made this blank for me and I just said to him, you know, I finally finished it, I finally turned it and he was very good and explained the reason why the resin had gone squishy was because I built up too much heat in the resin which makes sense. So you need to be careful of that, I need to work on that definitely, it was not the fault of the blank, it was my fault. Um, and as you can see, well you might not be able to, but there is no play in this anymore where it was moving before, there's no flex at all, it's cured again and it's, it's fine, it's perfectly hard. It. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yes, I definitely want to work with resin again, but in a slightly different project. Um, and we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up to date with new projects and new um, entertainment videos that I post. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, or questions or queries, please put them in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer them. And uh, until then, see you the next video. Bye. Cut. Ow. Ooh.